All right, so now we're going to look at taking and setting a new animation up. We have our blink section here. We have now another 30 frames extended. And we're going to be looking at maybe making a pose here. So what pose should we have? Well, I don't want this to be about animation. I want this to be about keying between the two. Uh, so I'm going to state that this one's going to be raising the arm and waving on the other side. If in doubt, keep it very simple for the student to understand what the important lesson really is. It's not about animation at this point. It's between or keying between the two and how it works within a game engine. So let's move this arm up. Go like this. And like that. There we go. I like that. So let's hit A. And we'll set some keys. Rotation. So now I have this. Raising the arm up. Good to go. Puts the arm down. Good to go. So there's going to be some reaction to putting your arm up. And there's going to be some wave action going on here. So in this state right here, I like this. Again, I'm going to delete my temp state and just add a new temp state. Hit A to highlight all the bones. Add new. And this is my temp. And I always kind of rename it. There we go. So this is the one where I want them to be in this state for a little while. Namely about right here. So let's go back. Click the magnifying glass to launch it back and then insert keyframes rotation. There we go. So now from here to here, he stays within that pose. So something's going to happen between there and there. Um, I just want like this arm to change. Just like that. Hit A to grab all the bones. Insert keyframe rotation. And then I'll go back to this side move it just a little bit this way hit A insert keyframes rotation alright so this is what I have waves and then puts the arm down very simple alright now what happens there's reactions to putting your arm up in the air Okay, so let's go in here and start adding some of those. I'm just going to move the arm back and a little bit back like that. Hit A, insert keyframes rotation. And then I'm going to add some of the body movement here. Straighten them out just a little bit. Hit A, insert keyframes, rotation. So in this case, I, I straightened out the spine a little bit. And right here, maybe some tilt of the head. There we go. Not too bad. Easy, s simple stuff. Again, it's not about this animation. It's about getting it into Unity as two separate animations. Alright, so let's look at the preview of the whole thing. Let's drag it across. Waves. Let's go into Z mode to kind of, or Z on the keyboard. Do, 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 do. I could have had both arms and he could have flied. <laughs> but other than that, there's my animation for the two. So now let's look at getting it into Unity and keying between it using some code. 
in the next video.